Well, our big story tonight, a woman visiting the Miami Valley fights back during attempted carjacking. It happened in broad daylight in Piqua. Rhonda Moore is here with how that woman refused to become a victim. That's exactly right, Deb. Now, Pamela Lugers is from Florida, visiting relatives for a baptism and wedding. And she was leaving the store yesterday when out of nowhere, a man with a gun threatened to kill her. We sat down and talked with her today about the scary ordeal and how she was able to free herself from it. Us old broads are tough. 67-year-old Pamela Luger proved that she has the scrapes on her hands and neck to show for it. She got them yesterday as she was leaving a store in Piqua. She had just gotten in her car. And all of a sudden there was a gun in my neck and a guy said, um, don't scream. I have a gun. I will kill you. Police say it was Robert Riddle, a man with a known heroin problem who tried to carjack her. Luger says he told her she was going to drive him up the highway, but she wasn't going to let him in her car. So I turned out from the seat and started to struggle with him. He was pointing a gun at me at that point, and I took the barrel of the gun and turned it so that it was across his chest so it wasn't pointing at me. The gunman then backed up. He was pointing the gun right at me, and I was afraid that he was going to shoot me. She started screaming. Other shoppers saw what was happening, and the man ran off into the woods. She resisted. Uh, yeah, I can't recommend that in all instances, but I do not second-guess victims that end up surviving something like this, and it sounds like she handled it uh, correctly. Police eventually caught up with their suspect. It did turn out to uh, be a uh, toy gun, uh, so and uh, we were able to recover it and also get him into uh, custody. Police say the fake gun was an airsoft pistol, and even though it wasn't real, Riddle is still looking at serious attempted robbery charges. Coming up tonight at 10 and 11, find out if Lugers would have done anything different, plus hear about the military training she has that taught her to protect herself. All right, Rhonda, thank you. And if you have any Fighting Back stories, we'd love to hear from you. Just email your ideas to us at fightingback at fox45now.com.